officially Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I'm going to start off by reading a Valentine card that I plan on giving one of the people in my studio, one of the lucky people in my studio. It's my favorite one I've come across. I bought Toy Story 3 Valentine's um, to give out, because um, I do it every year um, that I've been in college. So yeah, this one features the pig, the piggy bank. It says, holy moly guacamole, it's Valentine's Day. Cooks it up because it's like Mexican food reference. But Katie, you're talking about pork pies and food, so I figured I'd pull up one of my Valentine treats and munch on that. Mm. I've not had Snickers in here for a long time. It's really good. But I was trying to think of what I would say for this video because I haven't really posted in like a week or two. Um, I was like, I've not done anything interesting like laundry. I changed my car battery because it died the other day. Like, bought groceries. I was like, what have I done? Interesting. And I remember on Friday, we had this Relay for Life fundraiser. I think you guys know what that is. It's like cancer um, research fundraiser. And then at the end, in like April, we have a spend the night because we stay up all night and do like fundraising activities and like talent shows and run around heels. It was really fun. But yeah, because it's like cancer never sleeps so neither can we for a night at least. So we do that and um so I had a fundraiser for it and it was a bunch of the different dance crews around tech as well. Um as Fighting Gravity. I think you guys know the group. Um, they're on America's Top Talent. They originally came from B T one of the frats did a talent show and they decided to try for America's Got Talent and got third. What's up? So they came as a special guest and we had a sold out auditorium raising like twenty thousand dollars, which is the most we've ever raised from one single fundraiser. So it was awesome. Um there are some good groups and there's some okay groups like the Salsa Tech group. They did salsa of course and they're okay, but what was really distracting was this one guy decided to take his hair and put so much hair gel that he spiked it in the back. So it was like a unicorn horn, but like on the back of his head. It was like really stupid of him. And so I was just trying to take pictures of him the entire time instead of paying attention to the routine, which it didn't look like they were doing a very good job anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, Fighting Gravity themselves, they're really cool. There's a group that went before them called the Low Tex. And they make fun of the actual dance group, the high techs, which are like a bunch of girls that perform in the basketball games. And they're really good, but the low techs are like a bunch of guys that like pretty much thrust their <coughs> and um you know, goof off off stage. And so, um they decided to make fun of fighting gravity by turning the lights out in the auditorium and putting on these plastic paper masks with little happy sad faces. <laughs> And then, like, one guy had, like, one of those, like, neon glow in the dark balls on, like, um, I think it was just, like, a hard piece of wire, and he was just, like, flinging it around, skipping around the background. You could tell they are just making a complete mockery of them. It was really funny. But Fighting Gravity was pretty cool. I pushed pictures in case you want to see it. Um, so, yeah, that was a, that was a highlight of my weekend, considering I told you what the rest of my week was like, so, um, yeah, um, Katie, I do I think your room is a bit messy, but it wasn't as messy as I thought it was going to be, so maybe that's, like, a good thing. I liked the bright splash of green on your door. Um, and it's kind of nice that you get to live by yourself, like, that's cool. So, glad you're liking it over there. Demi, I hope to see you post sometime if you want, feel free. I'll try to remember to post again next week. Um, but... It looks like it's getting late, so I'm going to go to bed, and I hope you guys have a lovely Valentine's Day. See ya.